Hello and welcome everyone uh, from wherever you may be joining us from around the world uh, today. My name is uh, Ron Hoppe. I'm the CEO of Worldwide Health Staff Solutions and I'm very excited today to bring you this uh, next in our series on uh, resources uh, that we um, are making available to international nurses from around the world that are on their way to the United States. I've really been looking forward to this session. Uh, today we are going to be joined by Mr. Steve Charlotte of uh, Remax. Worldwide Health Staff Solutions has selected Steve and the Remax team to help establish this program for nurses and other medical staff that are migrating to the United States. Whether you have a home to sell in your current location, whether you need to rent an apartment temporarily, or and or then purchase your own home in the US, Steve and his team are here to help. Steve became a licensed realtor in 90, 1999 and now has over 20 years of experience. And as an experienced agent himself, he understands the needs of clients to find quality homes in safe neighborhoods. Let me just add that Steve is a specialist in the area of relocations <coughs> and particularly international relocation. Steve has extensive experience in the medical industry uh, re with uh, relocation services and is very familiar with hospital organizations and medical organizations around the United States. Steve and uh, the Worldwide Health Staff team have been working together now for over a year to bring quality real estate services to international nurses, whether they're part of the Worldwide Health Staff Solutions uh, family uh, or not. We're just <coughs> wanting to make this resource available to any nurse that is headed to the US so that their experience can be uh, as positive as, as possible. Steve has prepared this webinar for us today. And it is my pleasure to welcome Steve Charlotte uh, um, to present the webinar session this morning. Steve, thank you for joining us, and uh, we're looking forward to your presentation. Well, Ron, thank you so much uh, for inviting uh, uh, Remax and myself uh, to go to work and help uh, your nurses and others move to the United States. You know, I think we're all very aware of the, the this great shortage of nursing staff and, and, and medical professionals we have in the United States. So <clears throat> we are in, in great need of your services and uh, are here to help you make the move to the United States. Uh, you know, I certainly understand the commitment that uh, you you as nurses make to your patients. My, my wife, Eileen, is a nurse who uh, practices in, in hospice and palliative care so I certainly do understand the commitment that goes into being an RN and uh, that great commitment and the hard work that goes into it. <clears throat> so there are three things today that I wanted to, uh, to address. And uh, basically those are, um, let's see here, get to the right, the right slide. Um, first, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, Remax. I wanna talk about and, and show you um, how large Remax has become um, over the years and uh, the extent of services that we provide. Second, I want to share the features and benefits of home ownership um, because uh, renting temporarily is, is, is an important thing to do, maybe at first, um, but then purchasing a home uh, far outweighs the benefits of, of renting a home. And then third, uh, we'll summarize the basic steps and the process uh, to, to purchasing your home and what that looks like so that you have a little more information about how that's going to work for you when you come to the United States and give you an idea. Certainly, uh, the, uh, the preferred realtor that we recommend uh, you to work with will, will uh, be able to guide you through that process and is a professional real estate agent with Remax who, who is going to get you to the, um, to the finish line to purchase a home. And then at the end, Ron, I think we're going to uh, move forward with uh, and, and do a, um, a question and answer session. So as you have right. questions, please put those down, write those down, and we'll answer those towards the end of our webinar. <clears throat> so um, we have, and I want to start with a, a very fun, fast-moving video that will help to demonstrate um, the size and um, 
presence of of Remax around the world, um, and All right. that that will be starting next. So, if we want to move to that video next, uh, okay, coming right up, Steve. That would be great. Thank you. It'll just be up here in a second. Just uh, the video is just loading everyone. Thank you for, for your patience. Here we go. All right, so that's a pretty fun and fast moving video. So global connections, yes, we have a few. You know, <clears throat> Remax has been able to expand our borders and working much more from a, a one world perspective. We have offices in over 110 countries and territories around the world and have over 135 agents in those countries. This allows me to easily communicate with uh, the network. I, I have access to uh, communicate with these realtors. So in the event that someone has a home to sell from wherever they're moving, in most places uh, or around the world, you can see this map in red represents those countries and territories where we have Remax offices and to help uh, our nurses make the move to the United States. Um, <clears throat> one, of the, one of the great resources we have is this website, which is global.remax.com, um, which enables users to search globally, not only domestically in the United States, but globally to see over 800,000 listings that are available through Remax. The site offers the largest proprietary inventory of homes over any other brand and has a tool that allows the users to search for listing using even a dollar amount to find out uh, what homes from around the world are, are in your budget. For example, uh, what does uh, 250,000 US dollars buy in terms of real estate really anywhere uh, in the world? One of the other uh, benefits of this site is that it, it has a language and currency uh, conversion tool that uh, allows you to, um, you know, to view listings in over 45 different languages and 60 currencies. So you can select your language and use this tool, this website also to um, you know, find properties and search for homes in a format that you can understand in your own language. <clears throat> Well, you know, on the agent side, Remax really does have uh, a, a, a strong values to um, to recruit and retain uh, those realtors and those real estate agents in the communities that we serve. You know, we we strive to recruit the best, most experienced real estate agents and encourage you to work with one of our preferred agents. You know, Ron, we do have. Uh, uh, a preferred network of agents that we would like uh, nurses moving to the United States to to reach out and connect with. You know, there are lots of Remax agents out there, but there are only a, 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 a preferred number of realtors and agents who we're working with who uh, are aware of our relationship with Worldwide and who've been recruited to join us in this mission. You know, we believe in, in, in people who believe in themselves and have a passion for integrity, fairness, and excellence. Uh, and we believe in building a culture of mutual respect and courtesy with all of our customers. 
you know, as a real estate agent myself, Ron, living in Denver, Colorado, I have worked with several new immigrants, immigrants moving to the area. So I understand the importance of finding your way in an unfamiliar city and learning as much as possible about the new social customs and business practices in, in a new community. So at the end of this uh, webinar, we'll provide you with a link and a way to uh, a link and a web a web page to get in touch with us to fill out a, a brief registration form and connect with one of our agents. <clears throat> so here's that slide that talks a little bit about uh, the benefits of home ownership. So first of all, um, you know, owning your home, own home brings a great level of happiness in that uh, you know you're able to know that you own the home and have a safe haven to live in um, when you when you when you get to that point certainly we can help with finding temporary housing but one of the benefits is is owning the home uh, you'll be able to make your own home improvements paint the home if you like uh, there are tax savings to be realized with mortgage interest deductions and other related expenses. You know, when you own real estate, it has uh, the opportunity to appreciate. You, in, a, in effect, have uh, a savings account in your own home and are uh, building an equity position, which for many Americans becomes their single most uh, valuable asset over the course of a lifetime. Um, you know, when you're renting a home, you simply do not have uh, many of, don't have those opportunities to build equity in the home. Uh, often rent rates are subject to go up year over year. And where when you own a home and own a mortgage, you have a fixed monthly payment um, that is reliable and predictable within your, in your, in your budget. Um, on this next slide, we want to talk about um, kind of the process uh, that you'll go through when you get started on the purchase. In the beginning, again, you'll want to connect with one of our preferred agents um, who will be able to educate you on, on the financing uh, uh, terms and what kinds of loans to work with. Your agent will uh, teach you the difference between an FHA loan or a conventional loan. They'll be able to teach you the difference differences between um, you know a down payment, what is a down payment versus uh, closing costs when you go to purchase your home. Um, we're working on financing now, Ron, with a couple of different banks, um, so that we can more easily streamline the purchase process. Uh, understanding that when someone moves to the United States and has not yet established credit in the United States, uh, that there, there are uh, other tools and resources to help you get beyond that and purchase a home maybe a little sooner than later so you're not waiting for uh, an extended period of years. Um, your agent will be able to discuss, you know, what is uh, the interest rate uh, currently in the United States where around two and a half percent. And with rates that low, this is a spectacular time and a, and a great window of opportunity to, to purchase a home because interest rates are so low. Um, moving on to the next slide. I wanted to talk a little bit about down payment assistance programs here. There are three uh, links here, all three uh, providing great information about how to find financing and how to use the down payment assistance programs that are available in each one of our United States. You know, state governments and our federal government in the United States uh, allows um, for first time home buyers to take a simple class um, and then um, have the opportunity to 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 borrow uh, the down payment, the, you know, your down payment being that amount of money that the the bank requires you uh, pay as a, as a down payment. 
and that can range from three to three and a half percent at the at the low end. And certainly, um, as you're able to put more money down, it will help you, um, you know, throughout the purchase and reduce your monthly mortgage payments. Moving on to the next slide, we have another. Uh, chart here that we'll talk a little bit about the process itself, which really does begin with uh, locating a preferred REMAX agent, getting to know your agent, uh, it, it, and connecting with that person is really important because when you first come into a, a new city, a new state and city, that real estate agent, our, our REMAX agents, are going to be your best ambassadors to help you get acquainted and connected with the services you need when you get here. Um, you know, to, to, to start with, a, some of those examples might be to find the social security office and maybe even have uh, and, and have the address and the location for the local so secure, social security office, um, some information about uh, that process. They'll be able to direct you then to the Department of Motor Vehicles so you can get a driver's license. Um, and get connected with the schools if you have children, getting connected with the schools and, and, and uh, learning how to get registered for those classes. Uh, so really, that, that initial connection with your agent is, is critical because we're teaching them and, and, and uh, educating them about uh, you know, our relationship with Worldwide Health Staff Solutions and how we can best serve you uh, once you get into the United States. They're then going to talk about getting pre-approved for a mortgage and the steps involved there. Whether you've established credit in the United States by getting a credit card, maybe purchasing a car, or going through one of the lenders who uh, we're, we're speaking with now um, who can provide other loan products for immigrants, and, and uh, expatriates, foreign nationals as they move to the United States, who've not yet established credit. They're gonna help you to search for homes, not only for uh, rental homes in the neighborhood and, and, and showing you what's available close to the hospital, close to your place of employment. Uh, they're going to uh, introduce you to um, neighborhoods where you might wanna purchase a home and close to the school districts schools where you want to be that agent then is going to once you once you've found a home and you and, and you're and you and you uh find the home that you're it works well for you your agent is going to help you to prepare all the paperwork they're going to draft an offer and uh a few other addendums that go with the property go with the, that, that purchase contract there may be some uh negotiations with the with the seller uh, in the form of uh, some counter proposals, a, a counter proposal on, on purchase price and terms, but eventually you'll work together to get the home under contract uh, and headed to uh, the closing table. In the process, you'll certainly have your opportunity to uh, have a home inspection. And there's uh, also the appraisal. Um, the home inspection is the process where you get to go through the home and, and discover any issues that need to be addressed, health safety issues uh, with the home, where an appraisal uh, is different in that um, that is the uh, the lender's uh, valuation of the home to determine and, and uh, confirm that it's worth uh, the price that you're willing to pay for it. And then eventually you move uh, into closing. And, and Ron, you know, typically this process is going to take um, anywhere from uh, 30 to 60 days from the time you are have met your realtor looking at homes and move all the way over to uh, the time when you're closing on the purchase of your home. In our next slide, uh, again, we just kind of <clears throat> we'll go through some of those steps. Again, your agent will prepare the documents that uh, are, are become legal documents and, and a matter of public 
mat matter of uh, a contractual um, contractual agreement and uh, um, and 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 help you to uh, prepare the other uh, forms that that need to be drafted. Um, so, you know, there can be a number of steps involved in this process, but again, that's where your agent is, is here to help. Um, I'm gonna to go to the next slide. which will help to define uh, some of those final steps as you get close to closing. Uh, you know, in the process of uh, the, the, the time that the seller's moving out of the home, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're moving furniture uh, and, and uh, moving all their personal belongings out of the home to prepare it for you. So just before you go to the actual closing, you'll have another opportunity to walk through the home. In fact, you'll, you'll have the opportunity to walk through the home two or three times uh, before you actually purchase the home and make the commitment to it. And you are protected by the purchase contract with a, a few different contingencies to the extent that if you determine that this home is, is not the right home for you, you can actually terminate the contract and start over um, and, and look for new homes. But once you get to that point in time, you'll bring your picture ID uh, to the closing, you'll bring the funds that are required to close, and you'll sign all the closing documents finally at the time of uh, that day of closing. It's a very exciting day. That's the day that you get to walk in and, and uh, uh, take possession of the home and, and make it your own. Um, and I can move on to the next slide here, which will then finally give you some information about how to connect with us. We've created this web page, this, this link, uh, that allows you to fill out a form. Tell us a little more about yourself. What is your destination city? Who is your new employer? Who's moving with you? Are you a, a, a single person moving to the United States or do you have a family and children that we need to help uh, you to accommodate and, and take in, um, into consideration all of those, th those, um, those things that are important to you? Um, we'll want to know when you're moving to the United States and then um, we'll we'll move forward to make that connection with you. The information comes to me and, and my team, and then we are uh, reaching out to uh, realtors in the community where you're moving to let them know about the situation, educating them so that they understand that they have a special opportunity and it's a very unique opportunity to help you move to the United States. Um, and once we've received that form, it might take uh, a few days to uh, connect you with your realtor, and because we want to be sure that we've got someone who is 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 uh, especially prepared to to help you make this move. Let's see, and um, you know, I think that's. That's about all I have for now, Ron. All right, all right. Steve. Yeah, Steve, thank you. There's really a, a lot of really great information that you've been able to share. And uh, thank you very much for doing that. So we do have a, a, a number of questions coming in, Steve. So uh, the first question is um, just questions around down payment, actually. Several questions uh, in that regard. And I was right. very interested to hear you share uh, information about some down payment assistance programs uh, that are available. So can you just talk a little bit more around, uh, you know, what, what a down payment, you know, generally is um, and uh, a little bit to more elaboration just on the down payment assistance, um, because that's really where the process starts. So if, if you could just speak to that a little bit, Steve. Sure. So 
you know, it um, the the down payment is the amount of of kind of the 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 proverbial skin in the game or your investment that the uh, the bank uh, or the, the the mortgage loan company is going to require that you have paid down um, to ensure that um, you know you're committed to this purchase. Uh, the minimum down payment usually is around uh, three to three and a half percent. So I'll work with some easy numbers here. Let's say the home. Uh, is priced at $250,000 and your down payment is 3%. Well, 3% of $250,000, I believe is uh, uh, $7,500. So that's your down payment and that's the amount of money you need to have to purchase the home. And uh, again, is, is, the, is the down payment, which is uh, somewhat different than those other ancillary closing costs that we, uh, we we talk about. Closing costs might be in the range of about another uh, 1% of the uh, the purchase price. So in order to, to purchase a home in the range of $250,000 uh, on purchase price, you'll need uh, around $10,000, maybe $12,500, um, just to round it up and make sure that you've got um, some extra funds to 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 um, to purchase the home, that's that's the down payment. Um, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really interesting, Steve. I, I think uh, 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 many of the people that have joined us today uh, probably um, are are going to be pleasantly surprised to hear, you know, that you can you can actually purchase a home in the United States, uh, you know, in the range of let's say ten thousand dollars. And just, uh, uh, Steve, interested to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you use the example of 250000 and I think that's certainly um, a very reasonable amount for a starter home. Um, I think it's just also worth noting that uh, in many places in the United States, uh, 250000 uh, can buy you a much larger home uh, than in other places. Obviously, uh, in your large urban centers, uh, prices are higher, but uh, at the right. at that two hundred fifty thousand dollar example, you know, share a little bit about what type of home somebody can buy uh, in that price range. You know, in a typical, you know, in a typical uh, American community, uh, a suburban community that isn't New York or San Francisco or one of the really high cost of living uh, locations. Right, and and certainly you have to stop and consider that in those in those larger metropolitan areas, you know, Denver, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, um, two hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars may only uh, allow you to buy a, a one bedroom condominium, uh, wherein those average neighborhoods, not average, but more affordable neighborhoods um, in, in other cities around the country. $250,000 to $300,000 would buy you uh, a, a, a home potentially in the in the size of around 1,500 square feet, 1,500 to 2,000 square feet uh, th with three bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms and, and probably a, a garage, a one or two car garage. And it really will vary pretty dramatically from, from Town to town and state to state, uh, but th that two hundred fifty to maybe three hundred thousand dollars will buy um, a three bedroom, two bathroom home okay. in a nice neighborhood with a yard and uh, you know in, in a in, in a nice neighborhood. Sure. Well, that's awesome, and I know that as much as you know, uh, our nurses and uh, you know often talk about the American dream. And, and initially the American dream is simply arriving in America, but to right. now be able to start to understand that uh, home ownership is well within reach, uh, I think makes that, that dream even, uh, even more compelling. Uh, Steve, mm -hmm. we have a question uh, from uh, 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 Ronel. He, uh, he's joining us this morning from Qatar and uh, he's moving to Texas. Uh, Ronel has shared he's moving to Texas next month and he's currently looking for apartments, two-bedroom apartments, um, 
and he's finding that the two bedroom apartment is about in the $1,300 per month range. Uh, and he's asking, um, you know, if he was to purchase a home, you know, let's let's say like you've just described in a suburban community, 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, what might, and I appreciate you don't have the exact figures in front of you, but what might an approximately mortgage payment look like um, on a monthly basis? Right. Well, um, I, I think that's going to be close to the cost of rent. Um, I think you're going to be in that uh, 1300 to maybe $1,500 a month range. Um, but then when you're purchasing that home, uh, you know, you're getting, you're, you're getting more than just, uh, you know, the two bedroom apartment, you're getting a, a detached single family home, probably with a yard, probably with a garage, three right. bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a much greater value for the same amount of money for that thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars. So sure. that would be my my guesstimate um, that the cost of a home is going to be in that thirteen to fifteen hundred dollar month range. All right, and and Steve, would you say it's uh, fairly common uh, across America that uh, if somebody is paying rent, whatever it is, whether it's a thousand or thirteen hundred or fifteen hundred, it's obviously determined by the local market. But would you say it's a common experience right. to be able to purchase a, a home uh, for the same monthly expenditure that you're paying on rent? Is that is that generally something that that is doable? It is, and, and in some markets, you might find the cost of a uh, of a home loan is less than rent. Right. Uh, rents are at a premium now, and I think it's important to know that. Um, it it uh, it will require some patience and uh, um, you know to find a home. Uh, you know our uh, our availability our our available inventory of homes is um, is a little tight right now. Um, these low interest rates um, have made a, a competitive real estate market, and um, but with some persistence and with a good uh, Remax agent. Uh, we can help to guide you through that process and um, help to uncover those opportunities that you might not otherwise be aware of. Sure. All right. Um, Steve, uh, you did mention in your presentation about assistance, uh, possibly assisting with uh, rentals, uh, rental properties as well. Uh, we have yeah. a question from uh, from John who's asking, you know, what the options may be for renting a house. Um, and is that something that Remax might be able to help with if he's looking to rent a house instead of renting an apartment? Yes. Um, you know, the, the rental market is is not exclusive to just uh, multifamily apartment buildings. You can find homes for rent. You can find um, townhomes for rent. And, and you know, we... I, I won't get too much into uh, unless you want to take the time, the differences between housing, you know, um, I will say just quickly that, you know, there are apartments where you're renting and um, can be a higher density with more, uh, you know, a higher population of people living in, in apartments where then you move to uh, condos and townhomes um, before you get to uh, the detached single family home. Um, and so certainly there are uh, detached single family homes where you can rent um, more square footage, more bedrooms, yeah. more bathrooms, okay. for sure. All right, and that's something that Remax uh, can help with uh, as well. If someone, mm -hmm. if someone does, uh, does own a property where they currently live, or perhaps they've been able to save up uh, some funds that would cover that three to 5% uh, down payment requirement, Mm -hmm. Is it possible, Steve, to work with Remax for someone like that to actually begin their U.S. house search, home search, even before they arrive in America? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Um, when we get you connected with one of our preferred agents, they'll be able to email uh, homes for rent and homes for sale to you that are available in the local market. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have those resources, and and uh, you know, through our through our local uh, local market 
MLS, multiple listing service. Our mm -hmm. agents have access to homes for rent as well as homes for sale and would 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 be best suited to um, start that search in advance of the time you arrive so we can start making preparations and you know uh, where you're going and that you have a home to live in yeah. when you get here uh, upon arrival Fantastic. as much as possible. Uh, Maricel uh, is asking a very good question. Uh, uh, the question uh, being asked is, if I already own a house in the United States, but I'm moving to another state, how can REMAX help me? Well, uh, that's where we have then a unique opportunity to really kind of coordinate that move and to coordinate the relocation. Um, <clears throat> because uh, you may need the uh, the proceeds from the sale, from the purchase of your home to then move forward and buy your new home. And, and the name of the game here is that from the time you have a starter home or your, 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 your first home, uh, you may want to sell and upgrade over the next few years and parlay your investment so that you one day have, you know, a, a, a much uh, greater um, uh, valued asset. Um, but we can help you to coordinate uh, the move by uh, working with an, a preferred REMAX agent so we can stay in close communication on those dates, those deadlines, and actually exercise some of <clears throat> the contractual um, strategies that we like to use, allowing you perhaps to, to rent your own home back. Maybe you've, you, you're selling your home, but you need to stay in it for another 30 days, uh, which is called a, a post-closing occupancy agreement. You essentially kind of become a renter in your own home, but in the process, you've, you've sold your home, you have your funds in, in the bank uh, to move forward. Uh, and so we're gonna be in close communication from point A to point B uh, between our two uh, preferred REMAX realtors to help you make a smoother transition. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, Steve, just, um, uh, we, we're getting some, some uh, great questions and some really strong uh, interest uh, in the down payment programs and assistance. I think uh, what we'll say at this point is that uh, everyone uh, that's on the webinar today and uh, everyone who has registered for the webinar and couldn't join us, you will be receiving a, a full recording of this session uh, within 24 hours. So uh, when you receive that recording, you can uh, replay it. And uh, for those of you that want the specific information on the uh, down payment programs, in the slides, uh, Steve does have his contact information there. And uh, reaching out uh, directly to Steve as to how uh, you can get uh, uh, you know, involved with or learn more about those programs is going to be uh, the very best thing to do. Uh, Steve, one one further question that's just come in, and it uh, it is uh, from from uh, John, who's moving from Kuwait uh, here to Tennessee uh, in the in the next short while. So uh, he, he John's question is: He's coming. He has a three year work commitment with his current employer. Uh, where he's going to be, not sure what his plans are after three years. Uh, in that type of case, what would your be your, what would be your advice to someone like John? Should he be mm -hmm. renting for a period of time, or is it a good idea for him to go ahead and buy a house within that uh, first three year period of him being here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, I. Um... I guess, you know, I have to say to each his own or her own that that's a decision you might have to make uh, yourself. But if you're going to be there for three years, uh, I think it's um, it, it's best to make the purchase to move forward and get invested in U.S. real estate, because you might find that even if after you um, after three years, you'll be able to sell that home and you're going to make. Um, you're, you're going to uh, have the opportunity to, um, to make some money on 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 that purchase. Sure. Uh, typically, because a real estate um, you know increases in value, uh, you at the end of that three year period um, should have 
uh, money invested and in, in a, a, an equity position in that home that you can use to purchase your next home. Or you might find, uh, John, that you would uh, like to turn around and rent that home. You may choose to move uh, to another city and, and then um, rent that home uh, if you move elsewhere, which will allow you to uh, have someone else paying your mortgage for you. You become the landlord and you're building your wealth through owning investment property in the U.S. Okay. Uh, very good. Steve, uh, just would you speak for a moment uh, to the question of, of how you get paid? Uh, the question is whether whether the applicant has to pay anything for your services. So could you just take a moment and speak to that as well? Sure. Yep. You know, uh, as a buyer, you're not paying a fee to me. Um, your uh, agent, um, it, your agent in the destination city to where you're moving to is going to be um, the one who's doing most of the work. And we have a referral fee agreement with those agents. Um, those agents are glad to, to help and, and work with you. And they uh, are willing to pay a, uh, a referral fee back to my office uh, at the time you purchase a home, but nothing is paid uh, to us in the beginning. Uh, we as realtors work with our clients to help you um, get established in the community and um, find the resources you need uh, and, and, and are not paid until the time you purchase a home. And then in the United States, it's the seller who pays the agent uh, their commission for all the work we do um, to get you to that closing table. So nobody's paid until you actually purchase a home and those fees are paid by the seller from the, the proceeds up upon sale of the home. And then our preferred agents are paying a small referral fee back to my office. All right, very good, Steve. Thank you for clarifying that. And just, mm -hmm. uh, just to reinforce uh, Steve's point, uh, the, all of the services that he described this morning or today, depending on where you're at, all of the services that Steve has shared and, and discussed are all services that everyone that's on this session is able to access and you are not having to pay. It is uh, either the party that's selling the home uh, that is paying or um, the, the, the landlord that might be renting uh, facilities to you. So there is, there is no cost to you as the applicant. And, um, you know, let me just say again that in sharing uh, this information with you this morning, as well as uh, information we've shared on other resources uh, that we've uh, made available through various partners, Worldwide Health Staff Solutions is, is doing this uh, simply uh, to provide nurses around the world with all of the resources that they need to make their relocation to the U.S. as seamless as possible and to make that American dream uh, become a reality uh, to the fullest extent possible. Uh, Worldwide Health Staff Solutions has no financial interest in uh, your using any of, the, any of the services that we're making available. We're simply doing this um, because uh, we want you to have the best possible experience. We want you to uh, you know, look back on your relocation to America with fond memories. So uh, Steve, it is, uh, it's really appreciated for you to take time. I know you're actually currently on, on a little bit of vacation this week. So I, I really do appreciate you breaking into that, uh, spending this time with us this morning. Again, to those of you that have joined us, um, if you do have further questions or if there's a question uh, that we've missed, uh, there will be um, an email sent to you within 24 hours where you'll have a full recording of this session. Uh, in that email also is uh, Steve's contact information. Please feel free to reach out to him directly at any time. Steve, thank you again. Uh, great information. I know that it's going to benefit uh, many of the people that have joined us this morning. And to, to those of you um, that have joined from around the world, uh, last check, check we have people online this morning from nine different countries. So thank you, uh, everyone, for joining us. I hope you have found uh, this information to be helpful.
even if you're not at the point where you're uh, relocating to the U.S. in the next, say, two or three months, uh, this is still very, very good background and reference information for you to have. So please, um, uh, you know, uh, keep this on hand for your future reference. Steve, thank you. Thank you to everyone that has joined us this morning. Have a great day, and we look forward to seeing all of you on our next webinar session. Bye. Thanks, for everyone. Bye. Look forward for to working with you. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Bye bye.